trying to kill us all morning. How'd that work out for you? Tell us about the attack. <laughs> Laugh it up. We're your last chance to come clean before you spend the rest of your life in Supermax. The Tadakol will protect me. Do you understand what he's talking about? My father used to tell me about him. I'm listening. They're called the Tadakal. They're legends. <laughs> They're the original highway robbers, but they preyed along ancient trade roads. And this guy is one of them? You will all be dust long before the sun sets on the Tadakal. Yeah, yeah. You and your children will beg for mercy as you perish in the cleansing flames of... Ah! Thanks, babe. It was my turn anyway.
This guy was headed for Barcelona. Let me know what you find when you get there. Where will you be? I need to go check on our boy. Hey, Letty. Stay safe out there. You know me. Yeah, I do. That's why I told you to stay safe. They want to play with fire? Then let's turn up the heat. Sorry, Cam. You know we don't work on hybrids. Maybe you don't. And we're back to this again? Do you realize how much work we're losing because you refuse to live in the 21st century? This isn't work. You're talking about replacing batteries and a child's toy. Toy, huh? Do you remember when they did the recall after all those cars in New York went crazy? You know how much money we could have made off that? In other words, profit from a terrorist plot? People still need their cars fixed, V. Let me at least take a look. Cam. It's a powertrain problem. Let's tow it to our place. I'll take a look at it on my own time. We're not equipped to fix these things. Let me pop the hood and show you the beauty of these things. Okay, hitch it up. Yeah? And let's take it over to Sebastian's. He'll give this guy a fair deal. But we better hurry, he closes early on Tuesdays. Hey, we brought you a present. Like we had a choice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, what's going on? Sorry, Michika. I have a lot on my mind. Thoughts of me? I wish. What is it? Not here. You know how this town loves to gossip. Okay, then. How about we go back to my place for dinner? Cam and I were gonna find some place in the city, but I can throw something together. Aye. <laughs> okay, okay. That sounds good. Let's go. Don't you want to look at the car? Uh, my guys can take care of it. Grab Cam and let's go. Cam's good. I want to stay here and lend a hand. You sure? We good? Yeah, I'll grab a ride in a bit with one of the guys. Is that... Is that a Camaro? Yeah, 69. Wow. Where did you find it? Cam and I fished it out of a lake back in Florida. Couldn't bear to leave it behind. So are you finished stalling? Can you please tell me what the hell is going on? <sighs> I need to come up with a lot of money in three days. What? Uh, have you ever heard of the Tadakul? Should I have? They've been around Barcelona a long time. They're sort of like um, a group that helps each other with, with special favors and business deals. In America, we call that organized crime. Oh, shit. You owe the local mob money? Look, when we met, I was completely honest with you about some of my business dealings, some of which might be considered Extra legal. You said you were a provider of information. Look, I point things out to people, and if they're useful, I get paid. So, I provided the Tadakul with some information. And that info, through no fault of my own, turned out to be slightly out of date. And now, they want me to pay them for the expenses lost. 
Exactly how much in expenses? <sighs> how much? A hundred thousand. That is insane! Well, the Tadakul disagrees. Damn it, Sebastian! How could you let yourself get involved with people like that? Hey, you're not from around here. They're hard to avoid. They have their fingers in everything. Don't you have any savings? A secret stash of unmarked bills somewhere? Ay, come on, V. You know my garage is barely hanging on. That's why you took pity on me, sending me that car. Hey, do you think I'm a criminal? Whoa. Who's a criminal? Well, you may as well tell them. Tell me what? We need a way of making a lot of money in a hurry. So it is true. You owe the Moroccan mob money. The guys at the garage like to talk. Hey, don't worry. I have a solution, but you're not gonna like it. There's a big street race tomorrow night. We are not getting involved with Mauricio. First prize is always some heavily modified ride. If you win, then boom, you've got the money to repay the gangsters. Well, a, a decent part of it. No way. There has to be some other way. Sebastian can handle it. When you're drowning and someone offers you a life preserver, you don't say, there has to be some other way. You can't reason with them? Oh, these are not people that listen to reason. I hate to say it, but they're right. I either race or I turn myself into the police. Which is probably what I should have done in the first place. <sighs> well, if you're gonna stand any chance of winning in that import of yours, it's gonna need a tune-up. So how far are you taking these? Like I said, you'd be better off with me doing the work right here. I can handle it. Well, just remember, these things are extremely volatile. Hmm. Well, we'll be extremely careful then. See, I was right. Mauricio's put up his BMW E30 as first prize, the vampire car. With all those mods, that's gotta be worth 50, maybe 60 grand? That puts a serious dent in Sebastian's tab. Mauricio was also asking about you. He was all like, how come your friend never comes around anymore? I miss her. Tell her I want to see her. Whatever. He likes himself too much to like anybody else. I knew you'd come around someday. In your dreams, I'm here to support a friend. I think you miss the life. I think you miss Miami. Heard you used to roll with Suki and her crew. You heard wrong. There's my friend. See you around, Mauricio. Just answer me one thing. I really have to go. If you truly given up on the streets, how come you brought that sweet ride of yours? I'm willing to go double or nothing. Two cars, twice the price. But only if I see you on the starting line. Holy crap. You could win this and you know it. And double means Sebastian's debt would be completely wiped out. Did you forget everything we went through back in Miami? No, I didn't. I just thought you might want to repay one life by saving another. What's going on? Why do I feel like I just missed something important? Vienna's going to race too. No, 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 no. You told me after what happened back home you would never race again. I changed my mind. When we first met, you didn't even tell me you used to race. I thought you were just a, a cool chick who was into cars. So what, I'm not cool anymore? Oh, I, I, I cannot let you do this. Mauricio's put a double or nothing offer on the table. It could wipe out your debt completely. I'm not worth you going back on your vow. Why don't you let me decide what you're worth? It's a relay race, so we're partners in this. We'll do this together.
It's me. Something's come up with one of our drivers. Tell your boss this could be a very good thing for him. You seem to be out here racing, Mr. Miro. Should you not be at home gathering our money? Whoa, whoa. You can't collect from a dead man. You'd be surprised what we can collect from the dead, my friend. Oh, this can't be happening. Oh, can't you see that I am doing this to pay you back? By winning Mauricio's car? Interesting idea. But Mauricio is one of us. His car, his house, his everything belongs to us. You are trying to win something that is already ours. That's between you and Mauricio. We were about to win this race fair and square. No, Fee, stay out of this. I'm sorry. I do not recall giving you permission to speak. You now have 48 hours to reimburse us, Mr. Miru. Or would you like me to pursue your debt with her? Enjoy the rest of your evening. Are you okay? Come on, we've got to scramble. I'm fine. Cam's right, we gotta go. I'm going to split. Those goons will be looking for you at your garage. No, no, I mean split the country. It's the only way to keep you both safe. You mean keep you safe? Don't you think they've already asked Maurizio who we are and where we live, and now the cops are after us too? Oh, shit. If you go, we have to go. But I'd rather not go on the run again. Uh, uh. There's got to be another way. We'll sell all our cars, everything, and settle the debt. No, no, you can't. I'm going to turn myself in. Maybe the Talakul will let me work off the debt. And then you become a criminal for real. Better than dead. I think I know someone who can help. You have contacts in the criminal underworld? Since when? Since before. And she's not a criminal. Over here. I didn't think you'd come all this way. I was in the neighborhood. I wasn't sure you'd even remember me. My visit to L.A. was a long time ago. Tedge put in a good word for you. He said you used to drive together back in Miami. Well, I don't drive anymore. That's not what I heard. I'm just looking for some insight into the Tata Cool. You know how serious they are? The Tata Cool are no joke. The top dog there is named Kai. Can I talk to this Kai? No one knows how to find him. Interpol has him on a red notice. Closest thing you can get to an international arrest warrant. <laughs> so a polite conversation is out. No. You have to speak his language. The Tata Cool are an international crime syndicate whose name means crossroads, a reference to bandits who would prey on travelers. The original highway robbers. See that truck? Yeah, I see them on the road all the time. Well, now the highway robbers have a front company. Using those trucks to move contraband all over Spain. And France, Morocco, and beyond. One of those trucks just landed in the police impound. 
Maybe you can pry some information loose before the cops do. This is pretty much the last place I want to be. What's going on? Where are you? I'm in serious gang territory. Like where I could get shot if I look in the wrong direction. Well, get the hell out of there. Meet you back at the house. So what do you think those trucks are hauling, huh? Rubies, bearer bonds, the lost Wu-Tang album. Who cares? We know whatever's inside is valuable, and we know the truck's route now. So? If the answer were any more obvious, it would be breakdancing on your face. Wait, you want us to hijack one of their trucks? No way. V, listen. Let me lay it out for you. One, we're not criminals. Two, you're talking about stealing from a well-funded, highly organized criminal organization that's been doing this for like a billion years. Three, if we fail, they most certainly will kill us. Can I lay it back out for you? One, they're not going to kill us because two, we aren't professionals. And for that reason, three, they'll never see us coming. I actually followed that. What? They're right. The Tadakul is prepared to defend itself against tough rival gangs, not three amateurs. Mm, you're really selling this, Sebastian. Don't you see? That's our advantage. We hit them in transit, we steal their booty, and we're out. You two have lost your minds. V, you know we can do this. As much as I hate to agree with Cam, I think we can pull this off. Well, I don't. Not without some help. Miss Ortiz, I was there at Race Wars when you took on that Audi. It was something to behold. Thanks. And Letty's fine. Letty and I have a mutual friend, back in Miami. If we're gonna rob the Tadako, we're gonna need some rides that can't be traced. I'm so sorry I pushed you into this. You didn't push anyone? No. I pushed. I have a habit of doing that. Cam, honey, this is all on me. They put you in cuffs? You set us up! Where are we? Now wait a second. Did you cut a deal with Interpol? Are you their informant now? I am never forgiving you for this. You done? Look. We're helping Interpol with a case. Just like you, they're after Kai and his organization. And was killing Sebastian part of the master plan? We were trying to save him, just like you. Who is we? Dominic Toretto? Hold on. The two of you are working for Interpol? How is this even possible? We're doing someone a favor. A favor? For who? Nobody you'd know. We believe the Tadakul are a supply chain for a larger criminal network. What'd you think? You were ripping off a truckload of VCRs? Okay, we get that they're super scary. So why did you help us rob them then? We wanted to force Kai to show himself. You gave us a way to do that without arousing suspicion. 
You're kind of amateurs, Tim. Rude. No, she's right. Kai, the man in the Mercedes. We were just mosquitoes he was swatting away. Kai likes to keep his foot soldiers close and his enemies closer. You want revenge. We want justice. Interpol wants information. What do you expect us to do? Make a decision. Do you want to stay amateurs or take this to the next level? This is all Interpol can afford? I'm getting tetanus just looking at this place. We're in the middle of a Moroccan desert. Not many five-star accommodations around. Wait, we're in Morocco? Please tell me you know where Kai is hiding. Mm, not exactly. He's been on the run since Barcelona. We detected him in her food, but after that, his trail went cold. So he could be anywhere? He still needs supplies and a way to communicate. Our drones have been getting shot down whenever they go near this. A data center we know has links to his organization. Aw, he's camera shy. There's no way to hack it from the outside. That's why you two are going inside. Us? Drive in, hack the server, get out. This sounds awesome. This sounds insane. Interpol will set you up with fake backgrounds strong enough to pass security. You're also gonna have to learn that ancient, beautiful language called Arabic. those <laughs> been working on these for a while now two desert machines built from the same parent chassis sort of like siblings well the moonshine racer has my name written all over it uh no you'll be driving that seriously it's garbage doesn't get any more anonymous than a van at least you finally got out of barcelona and into the burning desert inside a crap-ass rust bucket. What do you think, Dom? Are we ready to pull this off? If I didn't believe you could do it, I wouldn't have... He knew what he was getting into when he agreed to babysit. No, he does. Right now, he's wishing he'd turn places with you. Hang on. I'm hearing police reports about a convoy busting out a military base and headed up the coast. That's him. He just landed, and already our fugitive is on the run. Somebody tipped him off. Yep. Just like Mr. Nobody said, eyes and ears everywhere. Yeah, and if he slips away now, we won't be able to track him. <sighs> Looks like our guy has some friends running interference. Let's open up the nitrous and take them out. Looks like this clown's got stupid backup. There's no way around him. Slam them off the road. Take him out. We ain't gonna knock that monster off the road. What the hell? We need to take out that flamethrower. Yeah, well, you try it driving blind. I can't see a thing here. Look for the three fuel tanks on the back. I see them. Use the harpoon to pull those tanks off. I'm on it. Yeah. It's gotta be a billion degrees in here. Nice. 
two more to go. She just got one more tank. I can't see anything. Nice work, Lenny. I'm pretty sure my steering wheel. That's the guy. Great. He's got armor-piercing rounds. I'll draw his fire. I'd give anything for a gun right now, or even a flamethrower. I've got something better. Starting to think this guy has the entire city of Athens on payroll. Right again. We can lose it in the side streets. Why would we be being followed? What's going on? Turn up ahead. Where? Left. Here. But we live over to the right. There's a black SUV behind us. It's been circling the garage all day. I don't want it following us back to your place. It's just a black SUV. What is going on? You're making no sense right now. I promise I'll explain everything. But please, for now, just keep driving. I should try to drive more carefully. All these collisions are just making these paranoia worse. Straight over? Yes, it is still behind us. Watch out, there's more of them. Head to the tunnel. We can maybe lose them in the hills. What are they gonna do, rob us? There's nothing in the back. It's me they're after, I think. And why would you say that? Stop stalling, Seb. No, no, three, three still. After the tunnel, take the right. It's a shortcut. Up Tana Pedrosa? You sure it's a shortcut? You've never pointed it out before? I've lived here my entire life. You've lived here only a few seconds. Hey, don't be so touchy. You're the one acting crazy.
right here. Uh, up Carretera del Sansón. No one ever goes up there. I saw her, that's why. Yes, well, I'm not arguing with that. I think we're clear. It's carrying on down the road. Ah, thank you, my love. <laughs> those must be those famous driving skills you told me about, eh? <laughs> if I ever need a getaway driver, I've got the job. You'd better have a good explanation for all this. about this story of his. I wouldn't have left my boy at home if this threat wasn't serious. No, I mean the part about the single strike that could cripple America for the next 30 years. It sounds like a dirty nuke, or a dozen of them. You better believe I'm not having baby Brian grow up in a world like that. I wonder if Tej knew what he was getting into when he agreed to babysit. Knowing Tej, right now he's wishing he could change his life. Hang on. I'm hearing police reports about a convoy busting out a military base. Headed up the coast. That's him. He just landed, and already our fugitive is on the run. Somebody tipped him off. Yep, just like Mr. Nobody said. Eyes and ears everywhere. Yeah, and if he slips away now, we won't be able to track him. running interference. Let's open up the nitrous and take them out. Like this clown's got stupid backup. There's no way around them. Slam them off the road. No way. Look at that thing. That can't be straight. Wow, this fugitive didn't come to play. Watch out. These escorts are packing. Let's take them out. Huh. Watch your six, Dom. We 
need to take out that flamethrower. Yeah, well, you try it driving blind. I can't see a thing here. Look for the three fuel tanks on the back. I see them. Use the harpoon to pull those tanks off. I'm on it. Yeah. Nice. Two more to go. It's gotta be a billion degrees in here. We just got one more tank. I can't see anything. Nice work, Leonard. I'm pretty sure my steering wheel. That's the guy. piercing rounds. I'll draw his fire. I'd give anything for a gun right now, or even a flamethrower. I've got something better. Trying to kill us all morning. How'd that work out for you? Tell us about the attack. <laughs> Laugh it up. We're your last chance to come clean before you spend the rest of your life in Supermax. The Tarakul will protect me. Do you understand what he's talking about? My father used to tell me about him. I'm listening. They're called the Tatical. They're legends. <laughs> They're the original highway robbers, but they preyed along ancient trade roads. And this guy is one of them? You will all be dust long before the sun sets on the Tatical. Yeah, yeah. You and your children. Okay, let's get this race fuel back to the house. We've got all day to work on the car before the race tonight. When was the last time you ran it? Uh, that track day we did at Catalonia? Uh, okay, so new tires then, new fluids, and I've got some pads you can take. Thanks, V. I, I know you thought I was crazy there for a minute, and I'm so sorry about this. I know how you feel about street racing. But Cam is right, this could solve my problem. Even if you do not agree with it. Whoa! 
not do that again. Get out of the way! Oh, watch out for this guy. He's not looking where he's going. Are you and Cam okay? We're just different. That's all. Cam's always looking to the future, always finding an angle, hoping for something better. I'm always wishing I could turn back time. And I know that makes me seem hesitant sometimes, but I need you to know that I'm just looking out for you. That's all. I just want you to be safe. Just what we need. An accident. Looks like there was a police chase. I heard they've been trying to crack down on the street racing scene. We have to be careful tonight. That's the last thing we need. Cam okay, will keep an ear out on the scanners, though. And they'll give us a heads up if the cops are caught with the race. Wow, looks like someone messed up. So yeah, if you're gonna do this, I want you to have the best shot possible. Because I love you. I love you too. Okay, I'm trying not to kill us in a blaze of glory now. any better, I'd almost say these guys were out to deliberately kill us. I wouldn't put it past it that I could. Oh, no. I shouldn't have played into that paranoia of yours. We're almost home, thank God, though. Okay, we've got this, V. The first turn is a tight left, so take the inside. And then the quicker you can do the hairpin, the faster you can tag me in. Tight left, left again, hairpin around the Columbus statue, sharp left, and tag. You just keep that engine revving. Drivers, are you ready? This is a relay race. Pull up around the cars, then tag your partner in. The winner is the one that crosses the line on the fourth lap. Here we go! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Let's see what you've got! Ugh, I gotta throw it in more. Oh, yeah, I got this.
Mauricio. Without power, your tuner car is just skidding, my friend. That's why I am the king. I don't just have power under the hood, I have power in the streets. Perfect time to pop that drift, Seb. Now who's the fancy driver, eh? <laughs> Keep talking, Mauricio. Your car is going home with me. Tendrá suerte si algún día vuelves a casa, tío. Great job, Sam. We got this. Nice and easy. I got you now, you slimy bastard. KB, there's some police radio chatter. Better make it quick. I don't have infinite gears here, Cam. Your reputation is every bit deserved, Miss Cole. But this isn't over yet. Your boyfriend isn't up to your same high standard. He's still better than you, Mauricio. Oh, I said I'd never do this again. Here we go. Just clip the apex on the right-hand side after the turn, and we've got this. This is it. You're up. Go, go, go! Come on, come on, let's go! Then the quicker you can do the hairpin, the faster you can tag me in. Type left, left again, hairpin around the Columbus statue, sharp left, and tag. You just keep that engine revving. Drivers, are you ready? This is a relay race. We'll have a round of cars. Then, tag your partner in. The winner is the one that crosses the line on the fourth lap. Here we go! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Let's see what you've got! Ugh, I gotta throw it in more. Oh, yeah, I got this. Let's see how that American whale deals with this hairpin. Watch and learn! I may not be as light as you, but me and the E-brake go back a long way, Mauricio. Get quick on those shifts now. This is the time to make a gap. It's practically through the floor already, Seb. Ah, this looks tight. Hard on the E-brake, and I should slingshot around. Keep it on the red light, Seb. I'm coming in hot. Let's go, baby! I can trick these corners all day long, Mauricio. Without power, your tuner car is just skidding, my friend. That's why I am the king. I don't just have power under the hood. I have power in the streets. Perfect time to pop that drift, Seb. Now who's the taxi driver, eh? <laughs> Keep talking, Mauricio. Your car is going home with me. Tendrá suerte si algún día vuelves a casa, tío. Job, Sam. We got this. Nice and easy. I've got you now, you slimy bastard. KB, there's some police radio.
radio chatter. Better make it quick. I don't have infinite gears here, Cam. Your reputation is every bit deserved, Miss Cole. But this isn't over yet. Your boyfriend isn't up to your same height standard. He's still better than you, Mauricio. Oh, I said I'd never do this again. Here we go. Just click the apex on the right-hand side after the turn, and we've got this. This is it. You're up. Go, go, go! Come on, come on, let's go! Here. Hold on. 
My ribs are ready. That's all. Don't worry. I'm in coverage. Stand by for the shot in here. You know this area as well as I do now. Lose those cops. Why am I getting deja vu? That's twice now we're being followed on the same damn road. Just punch it. The Bell Patrol is moving towards you. And the suspect now heading northwest for the south of Espana. I think they saw us? Shh! Pursuit pursuit units. 10-5 suspects have been lost. Commence standard search and pursuit perimeter. Set down the code 2 and resume pursuit of other suspects heading eastbound on path 3. Okay. It was too close for comfort. Let's go. Done enough. my contact. She confirmed the Tatapool are the real deal. Their boss is wanted by Interpol. Jeez. They run contraband between Morocco, France, and here. But they can't find him. So a polite conversation is out. Sometimes I wonder if you bugged me. Yeah, I said the exact same thing. So what now? One of their trucks is in the police impound. If they're running supplies, then whatever's inside has to be part of something. They're gonna want it back. Have it, then anything valuable will likely be already locked up in evidence. Hmm. I'm heading there now. I'll try and find the truck and see if we can get anywhere near it to see. Yesterday we were running from the cops. Now you're running towards them? I know. I know. That's why I'm doing this solo. If it all goes wrong, then at least you're protected. No way, B. I'm grabbing my keys. I'll meet you there. No, stay at the house and look after Seb. Playing nurse for your boyfriend? Sorry, but no, that's your job. Besides, he's asleep right now. I'm on my way. No, Cam, Cam! Damn it! They never listen.
way! Looks like Ham isn't here yet. Now, where's that truck Letty mentioned? Almost had you. Damn it, Cam, I told you to stay at the house. How suspicious do you think this looks now? Two cars parked up near the police station? Stop treating me like a kid. Now where's the truck? Over there, near the entrance. Well, there's no way in there. So let me show you how the 21st century will solve this. A truck that size is bound to have a cargo manifest. If I can hack it, I might be able to find out what it was hauling. Okay, maybe it was good you tagged along after all. Oh, so now you're fine with technology? Okay, I just need to lock on to its signal. Almost there. Okay, no manifest, but it's got a satellite navigation system. Maybe I can find out where it's been previously. Right, let's see where these guys have been. Okay, there are six locations on their recent stops list. You take three, I'll take the other three. Sure, text them to me. If anything looks promising on this Kai jerk, I'll give you a call. Got it. Is it wrong that I'm excited about this? Yes, it is. You scare me sometimes. Okay, first seems to be heading east out of the city. In one mile, take the next exit onto Carrera de la Selva de Mar.
the exit. the roundabout, take the fourth exit onto Avenue de Duarte Maristán. In 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Turn right and the destination is on your left. gas station from the street race last night. I wouldn't be surprised if the Tadakul owned this whole area. Still though, they probably just used it to fuel the truck up. It's not a delivery point. Next destination then. Turn right. At the roundabout, take the fourth exit onto Carré Difni. At the roundabout, take the motorway B10 on run. Continue on motorway B10 for two miles. Control units be advised. Officers attempting to stop a reckless driver. All available units are cleared of no priority calls. Stand by. Echo through the two units. Ten five suspects have been lost. Left. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto Carré del Jablas and the destination is on your right. A Moroccan restaurant. No doubt they probably hang out there, but it doesn't have a loading area. No way they're shifting their haul out on the main road. Maybe it's the next place. Turn right. In 300 yards, turn right. Turn right. All units be advised. Officers attempting to stop a reckless driver. All available units are cleared of no priority calls. Stand by. At the T-junction, turn right onto Carré Roman Casas. Ugh, I've got to be more careful. Turn right. In 300 yards, turn right. Turn right. All units be advised. Officers attempting to stop a reckless driver. The T-junction. All available Turn units right are cleared of no priority calls. Stand by. At the roundabout, check the third exit. Ten suspects have been lost. Come in standard search of the shoot. In 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. In 500 yards, take the motorway B10 on run. All units, be advised. 
Hey V, I'm at the third location, which looks like some kind of factory. Can you get a closer look? There's an insane amount of security around this place. I'd say it's a fairly good bet this is where they either pick up or drop off. Okay. Any of those other addresses work out for you? No, but you'll never guess what I'm following right now. I don't know, rainbow with a pot of gold at the end? If so, that would be perfect right now. Ha ha, no. One of those same trucks from the impound. It's driving pretty slow. It's before. Okay, tail it. I'll circle back and take a look at one of the other destinations I found. It's a restaurant. And if I know one thing from watching gangster movies, it's that bad guys love a good restaurant. Okay, stay safe. Always am, V. I got this. Meet you back home. us. Looks like this is the place.
Just got a few flies to get off my back. Three against one. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's dance. Me to stop and pull over? So what do you think those trucks are hauling, eh? Rubies, bearer bonds, the lost Wu-Tang album. Who cares? We know whatever's inside is valuable, and we know the truck's root now. So? If the answer were any more obvious, it would be breakdancing on your face. Wait, you want us to hijack one of their trucks? No way. V, listen. Let me lay it out for you. One, we're not criminals. Two, you're talking about stealing from a well-funded, highly organized criminal organization that's been doing this for like a billion years. Three, if we fail, they most certainly will kill us. Can I lay it back out for you? One, they're not going to kill us because two, we aren't professionals. And for that reason, three, they'll never see us coming. I actually followed that. What? They're right. The Tadakul is prepared to defend itself against tough rival gangs, not three amateurs. Mm, you're really selling this, Sebastian. Don't you see? That's our advantage. We hit them in transit, we steal their booty, and we're out. You two have lost your minds. V, you know we can do this. As much as I hate to agree with Cam, <laughs> I think we can pull this off. Well, I don't. Not without some help. Miss Ortiz, I was there at Race Wars when you took on that Audi. It was something to behold. Thanks. And Letty's fine. Letty and I have a mutual friend back in Miami. If we're gonna rob the Tadako, we're gonna need some rides that can't be traced. I'm so sorry I pushed you into this. You didn't push anyone? No. I pushed. I have a habit of doing that. Cam, honey, this is all on me. They put you in cuffs? You set us up! Where are we? Now wait a second. Did you cut a deal with Interpol? Are you their informant now? I am never forgiving you for this. You done? Look. We're helping Interpol with a case. Just like you, they're after Kai and his organization. And was killing Sebastian part of the master plan? We were trying to save him, just like you. Who is we? 
Dominic Toretto? Hold on. The two of you are working for Interpol? How is this even possible? We're doing someone a favor. A favor? For who? Nobody you'd know. We believe the Tata Cool are a supply chain for a larger criminal network. What'd you think? You were ripping off a truckload of VCRs? Okay, we get that they're super scary. So why did you help us rob them then? We wanted to force Kai to show himself. You gave us a way to do that without arousing suspicion. You're kind of amateurs to him. Rude. No, she's right. Kai, the man in the Mercedes. We were just mosquitoes he was swatting away. Kai likes to keep his foot soldiers close and his enemies closer. You want revenge. We want justice. Interpol wants information. What do you expect us to do? Make a decision. Do you want to stay amateurs or take this to the next level? This is all Interpol can afford? I'm getting tetanus just looking at this place. We're in the middle of a Moroccan desert. Not many five-star accommodations around. Wait, we're in Morocco? Please tell me you know where Kai is hiding. Mm, not exactly. He's been on the run since Barcelona. We detected him in her food, but after that, his trail went cold. So he could be anywhere? He still needs supplies and a way to communicate. Our drones have been getting shot down whenever they go near this. A data center we know has links to his organization. Aw, he's camera shy. There's no way to hack it from the outside. That's why you two are going inside. Us? Drive in, hack the server, get out. This sounds awesome. This sounds insane. Interpol will set you up with fake backgrounds strong enough to pass security. You're also gonna have to learn that ancient, beautiful language called Arabic. those <laughs> been working on these for a while now two desert machines built from the same parent chassis sort of like siblings well the moonshine racer has my name written all over it uh no you'll be driving that seriously it's garbage doesn't get any more anonymous than a van at least you finally got out of barcelona and into the burning desert inside a crap-ass rust bucket. What do you think, Dom? Are we ready to pull this off? If I didn't believe you could do it, I wouldn't have asked. Police reports about a convoy busting out a military base. It headed up the coast. That's him. He just landed, and already our fugitive is on the run. Somebody tipped him off. Yep, just like Mr. Nobody said. Eyes and ears everywhere. Yeah, and if he slips away now, we won't be able to track him. running interference. Let's open up the nitrous and take them out. We've got more incoming. Looks like this clown's got stupid backup. No way around them. Slam them off the road.
out. These escorts are packed. Let's take them out. We ain't gonna knock that monster off the road. What the hell? We need to take out that flamethrower. Yeah, well you try it driving blind. I can't see a thing here. Look for the three fuel tanks on the back. I see them. Use the harpoon to pull those tanks off. I'm on it. Yeah. It's gotta be a billion degrees in here. Nice. Two more to go. We just got one more tank. I can't see anything. Nice work, Lenny. I'm pretty sure my steering wheel. That's the guy. Great. He's got armor-piercing rounds. I'll draw his fire. I'd give anything for a gun right now, or even a flamethrower. I've got something better. I'm starting to think this guy has the entire city of Athens on payroll. Right again. We can lose it in the side streets. Why would we be being followed? What's going on? Turn up ahead. Where? Left. Here. But we live over to the right. There's a black SUV behind us. It's been circling the garage all day. I don't want it following us back to your place. It's just a black SUV. What is going on? You're making no sense right now. I promise I'll explain everything. But please, for now, just keep driving. I should try to drive more carefully. All these collisions are just making this paranoia worse. Straight over? Yes, it is still behind us. Watch out, there's more of them. Head to the tunnel. We can maybe lose them in the hills. What are they gonna do, rob us? There's nothing in the back. It's me they're after, I think. And why would you say that? Stop stalling, Seb. I can see two cars. No, 
no, three, three still. After the tunnel, take the right. It's a shortcut. Up Plana Pedrosa? You sure it's a shortcut? You've never pointed it out before? I've lived here my entire life. You've lived here only a few seconds. Hey, don't be so touchy. You're the one acting crazy. Sansor. No one ever goes up there. It's an eyesore, that's why. Yes, well, I'm not arguing with that. I think we're clear. It's carrying on down the road. Ah, thank you, my love. <laughs> Those must be those famous driving skills you told me about, eh? <laughs> if I ever need a getaway driver, I've got the job. You'd better have a good explanation for all this. about this story of his. I wouldn't have left my boy at home if this threat wasn't serious. No, I mean the part about the single strike that could cripple America for the next 30 years. He sounds like a dirty nuke, or a dozen of them. You better believe I'm not having baby Brian grow up in a world like that. I wonder if Tej knew what he was getting into when he agreed to babysit. Knowing Tej, right now he's pushing him to the Hang on. I'm hearing police reports about a convoy busting out a military base. Headed up the coast. That's him. He just landed, and already our fugitive is on the run. Somebody tipped him off. Yep, just like Mr. Nobody said. Eyes and ears everywhere. Yeah, and if he slips away now, we won't be able to track him. running interference. Let's open up the nitrous and take them out. Like this clown's got stupid backup. There's no way around them. Slam the 
slam them off the road. Escorts are packed. Let's take them out. Watch your six, Dom. We need to take out that flamethrower. Yeah, will you try it driving blind? I can't see a thing here. Look for the three fuel tanks on the back. I see them. Use the harpoon to pull those tanks off. I'm on it. Yeah. Hang on. Nice. Two more to go. It's gotta be a billion degrees in here. Just got one more test. I can't see anything. Nice work, Betty. I'm pretty sure my steering wheel. That's the guy. Great. He's got armor piercing rounds. I'll draw his fire. I'd give anything for a gun right now, or even a flamethrower. I've got something better. trying to kill us all morning. How'd that work out for you? Tell us about the attack. <laughs> Laugh it up. We're your last chance to come clean before you spend the rest of your life in Supermax. The Tadakul will protect me. Do you understand what he's talking about? My father used to tell me about him. I'm listening. They're called the Tadical. They're legends. <laughs> They're the original highway robbers, but they preyed along ancient trade roads. 
And this guy is one of them? You will all be dust long before the sun sets on the Tadakol. Yeah, yeah. You and your children. Okay, let's get this race fuel back to the house. We've got all day to work on the car before the race tonight. When was the last time you ran it? Uh, that track day we did at Catalonia? Uh, that's right, so new tires then, new fluids, and I've got some pads you can take. Thanks, V. I, I know you thought I was crazy there for a minute, and I'm so sorry about this. I know how you feel about street racing. But Cam is right, this could solve my problem. Even if you do not agree with it. Watch out for this guy. He's not looking where he's going. Are you and Cam okay? We're just different. That's all. Cam's always looking to the future, always finding an angle, hoping for something better. I'm always wishing I could turn back time. And I know that makes me seem hesitant sometimes, but I need you to know that I'm just looking out for you. That's all. I just want you to be safe. trying to crack down on the street racing scene. We have to be careful tonight. That's the last thing we need. Cam will keep an ear out on the scanners, though. And they'll give us a heads up if the cops are caught with the race. Seb, I don't think this is the best idea. Wow. Looks like someone messed up. So, yeah. If you're gonna do this, I want you to have the best shot possible. Because I love you. I love you too. Okay. I'm trying not to kill us in a blaze of glory now. Any better, I'd almost say these guys were out to deliberately kill us. I wouldn't put it past it that I could. Oh no, I shouldn't have played into that paranoia of yours. We're almost home, thank God, though. Okay, we got this, V. The first turn is a tight left, so take the inside. And then the quicker you can do the hairpin, the faster you can tag me in. Tight left, left again, hairpin around the Columbus statue, sharp left, and tag. You just keep that engine revving. Drivers, are you ready? This is a relay race. Pull we'll up around the cars, then tag your partner in. The winner is the one that crosses the line on the fourth lap. Here we go! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Let's see what you've got! Ugh, I gotta 